I've been searching Follow every step, every road, every single trace Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at this Delani, I think that's how you say it, espresso machiner. So we got this thing at Bed Bath and Beyond. So it's around $250 at the moment, but I know you can get them a little cheaper than that. So we've never had machines like this, espresso machine, but this is our first one. So I don't know too much about it, but we've learned how to use it. It's pretty simple. So most of it is made out of this stainless steel as you can see like this. It's like a shiny, chromey finish. So sorry if it's not too clean. It's actually been used every day, many times a day. So right now it's actually on standby mode. It's the power is on. The power switch is over here on the side. Yeah, once it just sits for a while, it just kind of goes on standby. Back here is the water. I don't know how big it is, but it's a decent size. Let's pull it up. So that's how big it is. It's enough to make quite a few cups, I guess. But if you got more than one person in the house, it's definitely going to have to be refilling it pretty often. So it's not very big, but as you can see, this whole thing is not huge. And actually, that is one of the reasons why we wanted this, is because we have minimal space in our kitchen here. So a huge one would be a lot harder to fit in here. So, so on the top here, it's got like this warming plate, and it's actually warm right now. But it stays warm for about an hour or so and then it you know goes back to just being cold so but I think the idea here is to warm your cups and stuff on here so we don't use that part mostly because we don't want to scratch it to death because everything here seems to scratch pretty easy and then this is what I'm talking about right here in this bottom plate you can see how how everything's got scratched pretty easily all right moving back to the top here we got one two three buttons so you got like a little cup looking thing two cups and a steam thing and then here you've got like a like a knob to switch directions from steam and water to off, I guess. And so here's where the exit of the steam or water is for through this thing. Anyways, coming down here, we got this handle here with the pot. Actually, there's already been coffee made through this, so you guys can see what that looks like when it's done. I can open it here. So you basically put it like this and you turn it and this just opens up so emptying this out is not too hard just kind of wash it under the water and washes out alright guys just wanted to show you that underneath alright moving down there's a little, little sticker here it's removed before use haven't done that yet maybe should have removed it and there's another sticker here 40 seconds to ready perfect temperature and my espresso I guess so next there's this uh, plate here and as you can see it's for some reason scratched a lot and I think it's mostly because of our cups I want to consider you know making sure that your cup is not sharpened on the end before you put it in here plus our cups barely fit between the the drain here and this so it's like a perfect fit it's probably one of the reasons why we have to keep sliding it in and out like this alright so the drips of coffee fall in there and as you can see it's a little dirty in there that once that gets full, this thing will come up and it'll poke through this piece here so you can see that it needs to be removed. But that's probably not going to happen and forever because a lot of it just evaporates unless you just spill a lot. Which probably will never happen either. So anyways, you just have to remember to clean this out once in a while because right now it's kind of nasty in there. So. so pretty basic machine. Pretty easy to use. So let's go ahead and make a cup of espresso, I guess. I forgot to mention that it does come with this little scooper damper thing or jigger, so it's not all that nice, but it does the job. Honestly, it's pretty convenient because it's a scooper, because we grind our own beans and then we, you know, flatten it out with this. So. And also, it does come with three uh, insert cups into here, so this stuff comes out pretty easily. You just have to pry it out like that, and it pops right off. So. So this is the two scoops here, and you can see by the picture in the back that it has two scoops. This one has a picture of one scoop, and this one has a picture of pods. I guess you can put pods like teas or whatever else maybe into here, and then it will make that. So. Alright guys, so I got my coffee in the uh, pod here, and uh, you can see that how where the level is. If you go much higher than that, you won't be able to put it in here, so if you're having trouble 
you know, putting this in is because you got too much. So just remember that. So it just goes right in there like that. And you turn it. And that's it. But if you're if you're putting it on and it's really hard, then you got too much coffee in there. So next I'll be putting in my cup in there just like that. And as you can see guys, the cup's pretty large. So it kind of you know fits in there perfectly. So right now the machine is on standby. So it would be as simple as just pushing any of these buttons and it'll come back alive. So that's what I'll do right there. So now it's basically what's happening is it's warming up. This is not hot enough, so it's blinking. So I'm gonna have to wait till these become solid. After these become solid, that means they're it's ready. And as you can see, it became solid pretty quick because it was already uh, it was already used not too long ago. All right, so all I'm gonna do is because even though this is for only one cup, so basically this that's way too strong for me. So I I don't drink coffee that strong or espresso whatever. Usually, since I'm new to this really strong kind of coffee, I would actually run it on two cups and then another cup here so I would pretty dilute it than what it needs to be but in any case so it's just as simple as pushing that button there and the machine starts black gold alright steaming up the camera most of the vibrations you're hearing is just my cup vibrating on this. So it does tend to ring a little bit. But, and I'll run it through till it's done. And then this will flash a couple seconds and restart. So now you can do whatever else you want to do. So I'm going to run it one more time. Alright, so coffee is done. So the next part is the milk so what you're going to want to do first is before you use the steamer on the milk you're going to have to uh, get the water out of the line so this is why I use this cup for so what you're going to do up here first is you're going to push this button so you can tell it's ready to roll so now I just turn it on because right now it's on steam if you turn it off if you turn this lever on then you'll get hot water so I use that usually for tea but this is steam so but before it steams it'll have some water going through it so I'm gonna flip this over and you can see that. as you can see the the it's kinda put out quite a bit of water here, as you can see so you don't want to put that in your milk basically is what's happening alright so once you get the water out then you put your milk in there and you turn it on and there we go guys so you just do that till it's once the condensation starts going away that's when it's pretty much done so. but you just get it hot enough till it bubbles it's good enough after that And then you just take your milk that you just cremified and you pour it into there. And there goes your espresso. Isn't that delicious? So it's pretty simple, guys. So after this procedure, actually, this blinks for a while because it doesn't want you to make anything. So if there's another person that needs to make coffee, usually what we do is just powered on and off so we're definitely new to this kind of stuff so I don't know how good this machine is compared to others but so far we love it if this thing lasts for a year I think we'll be very happy with it because we make a lot of espresso on these probably at least four to five espressos a day on this machine so we've had it for a little over a month I think if you want to get a machine and you have the space get the uh, bigger ones especially maybe Breville I think that's the brand that's actually pretty good so I'll actually put some links in the description for this one and for the one I think that would be good better than this if you have the counter space so obviously the price of this one is pretty good and the minimalistic space that it takes is amazing 
that's uh, what sold us because we don't have much room so but it's been a pretty good machine overall so. anyways just wanted to make this quick video for you guys and uh, hopefully it was somewhat helpful if you got any questions ask in the comment I'll try to answer as fast as I can and thanks for watching this video and check out our other videos we got on this channel and happy espresso peace